Okay, so I'm doing a review on the little portable washers. Um, mine is the Black & Decker model BPW M09W. And I think that this machine deserves this review. And I'm going to tell you some common problems that I ran into with it and some ways to troubleshoot it. And um, hopefully you won't come up with as many issues as I did. But um, just to kind of show you. So as you can see, this is it here. Hi, kitty. <laughs> My kitty wants to be in the video. Um, and <clears throat> it's just like a front load washer. It's no different. Um, just smaller, you know, but it's fancy. You know, you close the lid. It comes over here. You can hook it to the sink. But I chose to hook mine to the shower with the diverter. That way I can tell it when I want it to be the shower head or the washer. So I have to keep unhooking and hooking. Now, Pete, the drain plug. Here's the issue that I had. When I had it hooked up originally and I had the drain plug just kind of leaning over here, it would constantly drain as it was filling up. So I had to call Black & Decker and they're like, this is not normal. Something's wrong with your unit. Send it back. But what I realized was that the drain plug was sitting too low down that it was just letting the water flood, right? So um, once I put it up higher, everything works. And forewarning, just so you guys know, if you do plan on ordering this, um, it does come with a sink adapter that's already included with the um, Quick Connect. However, I can guarantee you, unless you're one of the few lucky people, it's not going to fit. So um, I think in the description, they should include that you're probably going to have to buy some sink adapter pieces to make it work. Um, I tried literally everything and I finally found a sink adapter kit on Amazon for like $21.99, I think. And even that like eight piece didn't work. So you may even have to visit a plumbing supply or your local hardware store to find the adapter pieces um, or it may not work. So now I'm going to kind of show y'all like what it fits. Okay. So right now I have a, the pair of jeans for my little girls. I have a blanket because I've already done the clothes to get it all caught up. Another blanket and a towel. So as you see, it's not going to fit a lot. It's not a huge washer or anything like that. You don't want to overfill it. Um, that's just going to create some issues. Um, and I'm going to kind of show you how this thing functions so that you'll see. Now some people add all the soap and stuff in the beginning. I, however, don't do that. Um, I wait for it to all fill up and then I add my soap because using liquid soap and uh, Suavitel and stuff like that um, can leave stains, you know, if, if it's not fully full, if the water's not full. So the different cycles, like you have heavy, gentle, normal, rapid, and soak. <laughs> Personally, I've been using rapid because it's like an 18-minute cycle. It's pretty short. It's a 12-minute cycle on um, a small load. So then you so you have the load cycles right here. Three means large, two means small. Um, so if you were going to start it, you would turn the power on, right? And as you can see here, you can go from heavy, gentle, normal, rapid, and soak. Um, as you can see, the time changes dependent on what cycle you're using. And also, if you go over to the load, one, two, and three, you have load three being the largest, two is a medium load, one's a small load. Um, it will also have rent cycles. I think on the normal, let me go over there real quick. You can change, <clears throat> like say, if you hold it down, it's gonna spend five times. It's gonna rinse one, two times. You can kind of tell it three, how many times you want it to rinse. Um, and this would all change depending on the cycle you chose. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the one that I've been doing, which is we're gonna do um, a large cycle. I've, I've been running on the large cycle because it fills up the most. And then we're also going to go to the program, and I'm going to change it to a rapid. Um, I think on rapid, rinse is always going to be one time. And spin, uh, that lets you know that it's going to spin for four minutes. So that's a spin cycle for four minutes. Now let's get this puppy started. So now as you can see, the time on the rapid cycle is 18 minutes because it's a larger load. And then this is the water pouring in. Um, if you're going to open it, so if you're going to open it, you'll usually get an error code because it knows the lid's open for your safety. And it'll start doing this. Let me just show you. It'll be like that loud beep noise and it'll constantly beep just to let you know it's open. So you, in order to do that, you just hit start again. But let's just say you forgot to add something. 
you can hit the pause button, open it, and then you can avoid that. So I'm gonna let this fill, add my soap, and then I'm gonna show y'all as it's washing. And I really like hooking it to the shower head or to your, um, you know, hooking the inlet hose to the shower because the water pressure is much higher, so it fills up much quicker. But dependent on um, how good the water flow in your sinks are, this thing will literally drip down. So, you know, right now it's pouring in pretty good, like a, like a small waterfall or like a fountain. And it's filling up pretty quickly. If you do it to the sink, you're going to notice it's going to fill up. It's going to take a lot longer to fill up. So I'm just waiting for this to fill up. And then I'm going to show you all while it's washing so you can kind of see with the suds going around and how well it washes. So here we go. It started spinning here, how quiet it is. It's not very loud at all. Um, usually I'll pause it right in here because I added the soap and I'll kind of, you know, like you help a washer, how you do a washer at home, I'll kind of just, you know, move the clothes around, it helps a little bit. And this thing is super neat. It just, it gets to spin in. It's, it's nice, you know, it's just like a front load that you would see, but the much smaller version, of course. See, they're spinning. I'm going to open. Well, I can't show you the lid open. Never mind. But. Very quiet. It's washing. We're at 16 minutes left and we're still washing. It just stopped. Um, I think it's going to do a few more turns like this. Um, but you can see it's, it's really swishing these clothes around. And um, it's got a really cute design. You know, it looks all fancy, but it's small. Of course, this is the kind of more the wash where it starts twisting the clothes around. So it's not just going back and forth right now. It's actually kind of like churning, per se, the clothes. It's really neat how it does this. Um, and it should be getting ready in a minute, I think, to drain. I'm going to show you when it drains, kind of what happens. It'll get real quiet, and then it starts draining, and then um, it should do its final rinse cycle and then it'll spin i'll show you when it spins how quick it spins so now we're kind of going to the more of the agitate phase where it's faster it really does get your clothes uh, clean though and it really does smell good like i was going to the laundry mat because we live in a small apartment that that was the downside we didn't have the washer and dryer and it smells much better than when i was paying you know 30 40 bucks at the laundromat each week so this thing's been, you know, a good investment. All right, and here's the drain cycle. And as you can see, see all that dirty water coming down? It's my little fishies. So kids don't slip and fall. It'll do this, and it's got some good pressure. This is how I ended up hanging it. <laughs> we we tried to think of every idea to make this work. But, um, so it's draining. And then I'm going to show you how it spins, because it really spins fast like it it's got a good spin feature on it and ugh, look at all that dirty water down the drain just to go in uh, should be almost done and now it's gonna start spinning so it can finish draining I mean look at it it really gets it really gets going so that's excess water coming out and I mean, it's spinning, it's spinning pretty good to where there's like a decent shake. I always say it sounds like a, like a jet airplane. It's not too loud though, you know, it's pretty, it's reasonable. So it's spinning, spinning. And it really gets spinning, you know, it really does its thing, just like a regular washer. Now, as you can see, we're at the 10 minute mark. And we're still um, spinning. What's gonna happen next is it's just gonna fill it up for the rinse cycle. So it's just gonna fill it up once it stops doing this. It's gonna fill it up again. It's just gonna be the straight water. Now this is the part where I add my fabric softener so that the clothes will smell really good. 
Um, you can add everything at the beginning. The manual says so, and um, if you call Black & Decker, they will tell you the same thing. However, I just have a particular way I do things. Um, it's kind of like, I have not tried the downy ball in it. So I'm going to see if the downy ball, which I'm quite sure would work to save me that trouble of having to come in here, add the fabric softener, um, you know, because downy balls, uh, excellent thing to have. It saves you that trouble. So I'm going to let it go fill up with the rinse, add the fabric softener, and do the final spin, and um, I'll show you the clothes. Um, and then I'm going to show you a part on the washer I'll need to know about. Okay, and we are at eight minutes. It's hard to see that. It almost looks like a zero. And it's filling up. Um, I added this wall tail. It's going to do similar to when it was washing on the first cycle. And kind of um, let that fabric softener really um, embed in those clothes. I'm going to stop it. Pause it, and I'm going to, once again, kind of move it around so that I know that it's actually getting through the clothes. Ah, wet hand. Start it again. We'll see, it's doing, it's doing its thing. Six minutes. The moment we've been waiting for. And as you can see, this water, really, all you're going to see is... I was using the swabby tail, so you'll see some of the fabric softener in there, but it's pretty clear. Now you can see it's pretty clean. If you look right here where it's kind of bouncing off, it's, it's clear. It's running clear, so that means the clothes did get clean. And we'll wait for the final spin, which I don't need to show you all that again. And um, I'm going to take the clothes out and kind of show you um, how dry they get, you know, before you have to put them in the dryer. I do have a dryer, which I'll do a separate review on, um, which was, I believe, the Costway dryer, and it's it really deserves a review as well. It's small, compact, but it, it will dry. Um, you just can't fit a whole lot of stuff in it. I never really got to show you when it's, when it's really going, so this is like the fastest, you know, the fastest uh, part of the spin, <coughs> and really, really spinning. You have to be careful not to overload it because my daughter, she did overload it and it'll it'll really shake to the point that like, I wonder what the neighbors is going on up here. So I kind of had to redistribute the load and take some out. Um, just, just make sure you're not overloading it for the purpose of how well and how long it functions and because it's really loud when you do and it'll start, you know, shaking and um, making loud noise and it's just not good. So it's, Still going to continue to spin. It's got four minutes, so it's almost done. And ta da, it's done. It's going to beat so that you could hear it if you don't have to obviously sit in front of it. If you could hear it if you were doing dishes or cooking or whatever you were doing, you would hear it beep so you know that, this, that the entire wash cycle was done. Um, now I'm going to show you the clothes and um, I'm going to show you the lint trap that's inside of this washer. And it'll tell you to maintain it, you know. I would say, honestly, because I have animals and I have the kiddos. So, I, I do mine probably every three washes or so. Um, but I think on the manual it may some, say something like uh, after every five or ten maybe. I, I'm not sure. But I'm going to show you that too. So, you'll see how you can um, take it out, remove it, and then clean it. But here are the clothes. Oh, so here are the clothes. And they are nice and, you know, just just barely damp to the touch they are not dripping you know they are not wet um, the spin cycle obviously gets it you know moderately dry to where if you didn't have <clears throat> a portable dryer you could easily hang this stuff if you had you know say uh, a backyard and the clips and all that and a or if you lived out in the country or something like that um the towel as you can see it's just you know barely damp to the touch and you can see look at the look at how bright the colors are you know it, it really got it clean it it does exactly what it says it's going to do so um i'm going to take these out move them to the basket to go to the dryer and then i'm going to show you the lint dryer i never got to show you just uh bird's eye view that's the inside of the tub <clears throat> it doesn't have that you know big agitator that takes up the room see see my pets <laughs> see the fur 
see the hairs um, but I'm gonna take out that lint trap so if you look right here you'll see it's just it clips right off and it looks like this and you'll see that like you know it, it'd be meant to like catch coins or anything that could hurt the washer if it went in there and um, honestly mine's not too bad um, there's really nothing in there but I'm still gonna wash it out so you know it can go back in there and we can clip it back on um, if you turn it inside out kind of fluff it mine's dirty I honestly I would say soak it in some vinegar or you can maybe even bleach it when it starts to get dirty like that but you just kind of rinse it you know just rinse it off like this yeah, inside and out you know you can flip it back out Doing this one-handed is not the easiest <laughs> just kidding and it did get cleaner um there's that one little piece that i'm not too stressed about it's just a little fuzz so i'm gonna rinse it one more time you'll get your piece and you'll literally just set it in there you'll hear it click you hear that click and it's ready for the next cycle um i know it says that you should clean it um when you do clean it, um, I usually run like, you can get that A fresh stuff, but I, I run like a vinegar cycle, um, just vinegar and, um, water. It says you can only use cold water in here. <coughs> um, I haven't called the manufacturer to see if you could run warm water. You know, of course, if you're doing like bleach in your whites, you may not want the warm water. Um, it's a question worth finding out. Um, but so far I've just been using the cold water just to be safe. And, um, you could, it says that you can run bleach through it, you know, to clean it as well. But, yep, that's it. And I just wanted to show you guys how it works and um, let you know the common problems you may run into. But it's a great little machine um, if you really need one. And it kind of, you know, does a trick. Yep, it definitely does the trick. So, if you're thinking about buying it, you're not sure, I can tell you that um, this is a powerful machine. I have... Honestly, even with my old washer that had the agitator, it was a very old washer. Um, my clothes did not smell that good and they did not get that clean. So um, it is definitely worth the money. Um, just, you know, make sure that you keep your load small and convenient for if you do not have your uh, regular washer and dryer set, of course. Um, I hope you enjoyed the review and I hope this um, helps y'all if you do purchase one, learn how to use it, you know.